Hey, Cal Bears, and welcome to this week's Berkeley Beat. With everything from protests to a closer look at Berkeley's squirrel population, we have the latest campus news to keep you updated this midterm season. I'm Ashlyn Lapoyaresi, and the Berkeley Beat starts now. This week, Cal students and members of the Berkeley community participated in a 96-hour protest against tuition hikes that will be affecting all UC campuses. The demonstration, referred to as a funeral for public education, consisted of protesters marching and chanting around campus, even breaking into a few classrooms. The main area of concern for protesters is that certain demographics will be denied the chance of receiving higher public education due to increased tuition. In recent weeks, many Cal students have been receiving fines from the Berkeley Police Department for jaywalking. In an effort to increase safety and compliance with traffic laws, police officers have been issuing waves of tickets to people failing to use the crosswalk at Bancroft, Telegraph, and Haste. From now on, the Berkeley Police Department will be strictly enforcing that pedestrians obey traffic signs and signals, enter the roadway only where it is legal to do so, such as at a crosswalk, avoid distractions by cell phones and other devices, and watch for turning vehicles. So make sure you think twice next time you consider taking a shortcut through a roadway while chatting on your phone. Campus's only all-male dorm, Bowles Hall, will be going under renovation to reopen as a co-ed residential college. Modeled after similar housing at Oxford and Cambridge, the new student housing will be completely self-governed and financially self-sustaining with live-in faculty and a private dining commons. The transition to private housing is intended to create a greater sense of community and ensure the safety of the old building but brings into question what will happen in the next academic year, as housing was already impacted before they decided to close bowls for renovation. And now to our final story. They're charming, they're cunning, they're furry, and there is no doubt that the Berkeley squirrel population is pretty special. Our campus's fox squirrels were introduced many years ago because they were thought to be prettier than San Francisco's eastern gray squirrels, and the population thrived with the abundance of food and attention on campus. We'll now follow our correspondent Ellie to some of the squirrel hotspots to see what all the fuss is about. Hi, I'm Ellie Mead here at the Free Speech Movement Cafe, where the squirrel population is known to be pretty active. We're here to ask you guys what you think of the squirrels. I like them. I think that um, oh, yeah. they're very cute. I can see why people would think that they're pests, but um, I like that they're always around and there's always about 20 people with their phones out taking photos of them all around campus. And that's it for this week. Be sure to check out our Snapchat and Facebook page and stay tuned for the next episode of our Islamophobia series. Good luck on those midterms and we'll see you next week on the Berkeley Beat.